Now, I've shown you how to change mixed numbers into improper fractions, and then there's another saying if you wanted to do it the other way around. So changing improper fractions to mixed numbers. So first thing, your improper fraction is where the top is worth more than the bottom of the fraction. So an example might be 4 over 3, where the top is worth more than the bottom. So that's your improper fraction. And your mixed number is where it's a mixture between whole numbers and fractions, which would be something like two holes and a quarter. So it's a mixture between the holes and the fraction. So your improper fraction is this. So if we want to change from this improper fraction to a mixed fraction, this is what we need to do. Success criteria is you ask the doctor, so it's improper, it's not quite right. So you need to ask the doctor to fix it. Okay, I'm going to show you how this one works. And again, give you a couple to have a little go at or one half go at the end. So, first of all, we put doctor. Now, well, you're probably thinking, what does doctor stand for? Now, think about maths. So, doctor, D stands for divide, and then in relation to divide, the R stands for remainder. Okay, so divide remainder. So, if I have my improper fraction, say it's 13 over. And I want to turn it into a mixed. First thing you do is you divide. So we divide the 5 into the top number. So the denominator into the numerator. So 5 into 13 goes 2 times. And the remainder is 3. So the 3 becomes the top part of the next fraction. So we've got 2, remainder 3, and then the bottom part of the mixed number always stays the same. It's 5. So divide 5 into 13 gives me my two holes and then the remainder is the top part of the fraction that is with the mixed number. Okay. Let's try another one. So divide remainder, doctor, ask the doctor for an improper fraction. So let's do 26 over 8. So we've got our improper fraction, we're going to turn it into our mixed number. So divide 8 into 26 which gives me three holes. So I've got my three. The remainder is 2, so I put the 2 at the top of the fraction, and then at the bottom, the uh, denominator stays the same, so it's 2 over 8, so 3 and 2 eighths. Okay, let's do one more. Uh, but, but let's go 16 over 3. So, divide remainder, divide the bottom number into the top number, which gives me 5 holes. It's in 5 times with the remainder of 1, which is the top part of a fraction, over the denominator stays the same, 3. Right, one for you to have a go at. Uh, let's do 29 over 9. Okay, so if you want to pause and have a go, go through answer in 3, 2, 1. Right, so we divide and then the remainder, so 9 into 27, gives, no 29, gives me 3 which would be 27, so 3 holes and then I've got 2 left over as a remainder so the 2 becomes the top part of the fraction the denominator stays the same and that is how you do it